Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Have you ever wondered when looking at something such as an invoice, where it's going to show up on your profit and loss report? Let me just take a moment and show you where to find that information. What you're looking at here is the product and service, and this is based on a list from your products and services list. This is not saying here's the income account that you'll see on the profit and loss report. In order to see what accounts are affected, you want to look at the transaction journal, basically the behind the scenes debits and credits. Let me show you how to get there. You'll click on the word more at the bottom of your screen and select transaction journal. When I do this, I can see that I am debiting accounts receivable and I'm crediting bookkeeping income. It doesn't matter if you don't feel comfortable understanding what all the things are. What does matter is if you ever look at an invoice and you say, it's not going to the correct income. With this, you can see which income it's lined up to go to. I'm back at the invoice and I want you to see the product and service is bookkeeping. Let me show you how to change it in case you don't want it to go, for example, to bookkeeping income. So let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to go to the gear in the upper right hand corner of my screen. I'm going to go to products and services and I'm going to go to bookkeeping and over to the right, I'm going to select edit. On the right hand side, you can see bookkeeping income is the income account selected. If you said, oh, I just want that all to go to consulting or I want it to go somewhere else this is where you would change it. If you wanted to update every single historical transaction from the beginning of time through now, you would select this box. Hopefully this has been helpful. If there are any other tips you'd like me to cover in a future video, please let me know. If you'd like one-on-one -on -one training or self-study courses, I offer both of those. And of course, if you just want someone else to manage your bookkeeping, my team and I offer that as well. Thank you so much and have a great day.